Hello, it's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Uh, we are looking right now at the uh, big, uh, big Chart site, bigcharts.com. This is a free site, and what I want to do is take you through what I think is a pretty valuable tool on here. Um, I'm not going to look at all the features on Big Charts, but I am going to show you something here because it is free, and I get a lot of questions about the, the VWAP, or Volume Weighted Average Price. What we want to look at here is something similar to the VWAP. So I've got a chart up here right now that's a base basic chart uh, is what they call it. So what we want to do is we want to look at an advanced chart. An advanced chart allows us to change these uh, features a little bit. So what we can do is we've got the NASDAQ 100 there. You can see it defaults to a daily uh, time frame, each bar representing one day that is. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the time frame first to 10 minutes and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 10 days. And we need to use an intraday uh, period to get 10 days worth of data. What we're going to do next is look at indicators. That's this uh, button right here. Uh, I'm not going to put any moving averages or anything like that on here right now. But what I am going to do is go to this one right here, upper indicators, and choose this volume by price. Now, this isn't a VWAP, but it basically gives us uh, a, a feel for what the, the volume at price is. So looking at the last 10 days worth of data for the NASDAQ 100, you can see here that we have the volume down below as it's traditionally shown. But what this chart also does is shows the, uh, the volume horizontally here on the chart for any time pr frame that we choose. So in other words, what it's showing is that the, uh, the, the largest amount of volume in the last 10 days has occurred right on this bar here. Here. That's at about 28 and a half. So that will be a potential ma more major level of support for this market if it pulls back down towards that level. Uh, the next significant level right here is at about you know between 29 and a half and 30. We could look at that and say maybe about uh, 29.75. But since that occurred in the last five days, we can get a little bit closer look at the action by looking at the five day five day chart, meaning that because all the volume volume between 29 and a half and 30 occurred over the last five days, we can drill down a little bit by looking at another, a shorter term time frame, such as the five minute time frame or 15 minute time frame, but five days rather. So you can see in here that the biggest level of volume over the last five days is right about 29 and a half to 29.75. So let's just call it 29.65 or so. That is now what I think is a potential level of support for this market. So it's nice to be able to look at that and say, where, where does price have memory in this market? Because where the price has memory is where people look to, uh, to cover their shorts, uh, if they were they were short in there or they might uh, add to their longs. The point is we want to get an idea of where the volume occurred and look at these potential levels where the next battle of support and resistance might be fought. And you, you, looking at this, you could see that because we had seen so many bars in there uh, that you would tradition, expect traditional support and resistance to come into play as well. But occasionally we get a, a big uh, volume bar at an area where maybe the market gapped. Uh, but here this 2965, 2970 looks like an important level for the NASDAQ. So if we go back and look at the te last 10 days, and that's basically since this uh, larger rally began, we can see here that we've got 2965. And if that level breaks, then it could be a quicker drop down towards about 28 and a half. Then we can play with all kinds of different time frames, such as uh, year to date. You can look at it on a daily time frame. And uh, you might want to change, I think, in here uh, the settings as well. You can go into chart style and create a, a larger chart and that sort of thing. But since the beginning of the year, we've seen that the most volume has actually occurred down here at about, let's say, uh, 28, 2875 to 2925 or so. So that 29 level seems as though it's had a lot of volume in there. So I think that as long as the market is able to hold above that 29 level, then the buyers uh, for in 2009 generally have a good feeling, but breaking back below there could put this in further jeopardy. This isn't a site that I look at a lot because I use the uh, the real tick, which shows that uh, that VWAP. But this is a nice tool that's. Uh, free 
and um, you know you don't have to pay the the big expense for Realtek. By the way, Realtek isn't as expensive as people think if you're actually trading. Uh, most places will reimburse you for that uh, uh, 325 or whatever dollar fee. I've never paid in my life because uh, I have to trade at least 50 times in a month to get it for free, and I do that every single month. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you. Just another little product review of something free out there. Uh, just a, a tool that, that might help your trading. Thanks.